This proposal really is not a moonshot. It is a very measured request. It would not put Rochester at the top tier of school districts in the state, but it would allow us to secure some urgently needed resources for a critical aspect of our work, which is technology. In the state of Minnesota, school districts can ask their local communities to invest more in the education of their kids, and there are two main funding sources for that, an operating referendum and a capital projects levy. When you combine those two, Rochester Public Schools currently gets $916 per student. Districts of similar size in Minnesota, 10,000 kids or above. We really don't stack up that well, actually. We generate about $916 per student in Rochester. And if you look at Bloomington, for instance, which is uh, where I started my teaching career, they generate $3,119 per student. The $10.1 million frees up $7 million which we will put directly into keeping class size at current levels. And then it also includes 3.1 million for innovative new investments in technology that are tied to our strategic plan. We really hope that people will vote early. People can vote on Saturday before the election on November 7th, or they can vote like I plan to do on the day of November 7th. Get the facts and learn more by visiting rochesterschools.org slash referendum.